Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So I have another product to share with you today. This one needs no introduction, really. You've all seen it on my channel a thousand times before. But I'm going to be actually selling this at CanadianPreparedness.com. I got a lot of Mountain House, these individual packages. I don't have the number 10 cans, but uh, I do have the individual packages for sale. We have a variety of flavors. And hopefully, as I accrue more products, my end goal is to actually have a storefront at some point. Uh, it's official. It, the cat's out of the bag. The goal of Canadian Prepper is to have an actual brick and mortar store. Now, the thing with Mountain House is this is probably one of the few perishable items which doesn't really depreciate. And the reason why it doesn't depreciate is because it lasts up to 30 years. The expiry date on this here is 2047. So, excuse me, 29 years. So, it's a great barter tool as well because of course the the denominations are right it's a sealed package so if you ever were you know in a situation in a shift situation where you were out of some certain supply that somebody else had uh, they might be more inclined to trade you for something like this now consider also the packaging the taste the difference between mountain house and other companies is that Mountain House is one of the few freeze-dried companies, the only one I think, that actually cooks all of their food together as a meal. So they put all the ingredients, they actually cook the food. So that means that if you're buying lasagna from Mountain House, they actually cook the spaghetti sauce with the noodles, with the meat. They cook that all and then they freeze-dry it. What other companies do is they'll take all those ingredients and they'll mix them together after the fact. They'll cook them all but then they'll mix them together afterwards because it's an easier process. It doesn't take as much time and resources, which is why Mountain House is a little bit more expensive. Now, the prices on this stuff range from about 8 to 12 bucks on the website. That's Canadian dollars, so don't compare it to Cabela's.com where most of their prices are around 750 or 8 bucks American. You have to understand that 8 bucks in American dollars is around a dollar 10 to dollar uh, 15 in Canadian dollars now we're also going to be carrying another competitive company because I don't want to just offer one company and be a, a parrot for one company and not give other ones consideration we're also going to be selling backpackers pantry what I found with backpackers pantry it's a little bit more cost effective so you're probably saving about 20 percent on most of their dishes uh, some of their food is a bit more calorie dense but the taste is just a little bit less as appetizing and savory as the Mountain House. But it's still uh, very good. I mean, especially if you're out there in the wilderness all day doing your thing and you want that nice warm meal at the end of the night, that's definitely going to serve you well. This really is the ultimate survival food. MREs can't touch it. So long as you have a ample supply of water, this is the ultimate food supply. It's lightweight, it lasts 30 years, it tastes great, it doesn't require you have any dishes to clean or anything like that because you eat it out of this Mylar bag, you pour the hot water directly into there, you eat it out of the bag. The freeze drying process is much different than the dehydration process. Uh, what happens is that you're sucking all the moisture out of the food through a process called sublimation in which the, the food is frozen down to a very cold temperature like minus 40 degrees and it's slowly warmed up as a vacuum pump sucks all of the hydrogen di dioxide is that what it is or is it dihydrogen oxide h2o it sucks all of that out of there very slowly so it takes a very long time to make this stuff which is why freeze drying machines like the harvest right machine are so expensive what this allows you to do then is it maintains the texture because when when a food is dehydrated the cell wall collapses and then when you rehydrate it it has a mushy texture which doesn't resemble the original texture but when you freeze dry something that doesn't happen so then when you suck all the moisture out by that sublimation process and then later you rehydrate the food the texture is superb it's almost the exact same texture as before you freeze dried it.
and it's really amazing because you'll have a chunk of freeze-dried beef in your hand and it weighs almost nothing you think how could there be any nutrients in this whatsoever even though it actually retains 98 percent of its nutritional value which is much more than any other uh, food source out there which preserves this long uh, you would think wow how could this still turn into a dense piece of meat and you rehydrate it and sure enough almost the exact same texture as normal meat so uh, it really is an amazing technology if you're in the market for a freeze dryer i've done reviews on the harvest right freeze drying machine it's the only home-based uh, freeze drying system that's available on the market i've done numerous reviews of that item i haven't got a chance to use mine a lot lately because i've just been so darn busy but i do plan this summer on uh, getting back into it because they have a new pump which isn't as loud which i'm gonna get and that's gonna make all the difference but in terms of like there's so many benefits to mountain house the taste the high nutrient content the only downside is the cost i'm not gonna lie it's rather pricey stuff and it's even pricey for us the seller like we really don't make any money off this mountain house to be honest like and then the reality is if i don't even sell it uh if i buy a thousand packages of these and i don't sell them i'm not gonna care because i'm gonna end up eating it at some point and it's a prep for me but the margins on this mountain house are so terrible you really we really just carry it so that if you wanted to add it as an add-on item or something like that you could do that but uh, that's the unfortunate thing with mountain house is that it's so good that it's very very hard to get bulk deals but if you want you know 10 packages or something like that or 20 packages even or 50 i could send that to you just uh, go place an order at canadianpreparedness.com unfortunately like i said i can't discount the prices any further than they are on the website right now because they're just borderline break even for me uh there, i should add there's two different kinds that we have we have these pro packs and these pro packs are actually going to fit in the bug out roll nicely they pack down really light so they have slightly less calories not by much like 500 calories in here good tasting calories i should also add that there is some people say there's a high sodium content which there is but if you're out there working dehydrated sweating all that stuff in a in a crap hits the fan situation you're going to want to retain water so you're going to want uh, high sodium stuff anyways of course you don't want to have that much of it but uh, these are the other bags these are just non-vacuum sealed so uh, you know i mean just as good but if you're really into ultralight and packing things down very tightly these are going to fit really nicely in the bug out roll um chili mac is probably my favorite here granola and blueberries this is a really good one for the mornings because you don't really need hot water you can use hot water if you want you just pour i think it's uh, half a cup of water in there man is it delicious it has freeze-dried milk so it's just like eating a bowl of granola cereal with blueberries absolutely delicious i believe these go for seven or eight bucks or something like that 520 calories as well so great way to start the morning up so yeah go check that out uh thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe canadian prepper out <laughs>